Yo, what's up? It's Ben with Digital Dreams, and today is March 10th, 2022, and we're gonna be showing you a surveillance camera upgrade at a site that we actually started six years ago. So six years ago at the Colfax Mini Storage in Colfax, California, we installed some cameras, and now they have returned, and we've installed a mixture of cameras here. We have some Vercata at the front, and then we added another 20 LTS cameras around the property. Let's check it out. <laughs> So this property is huge, by the way. It's it's like I mean I guess I wouldn't say it's that big, but it's like it's really long. Some of these these things are about I don't know five six hundred feet long. These storage units up here, and um, Keith, as you'll see here, he's about to show you the the map that they're trying to redraw here to um, <laughs> remember what what we did previously and what we're going to be adding. We later on digitally assign this all onto our system surveyor software, but we're double checking today to see how much conduit we're going to need around this whole property. And while we came, what Junior's doing right here, that's Keith Junior, he, um, there was a, a snowstorm, there was a snowstorm, tree fell down, took their fence out, they had no power, and then the gutter on top of the building collapsed fell down, it collapsed from the snow, smacked one of our old wireless bridges from six years ago. We were try attempting to repair that zip tight, band-aid it on and get the cameras up until we replace it with the new um, antenna, but that's what Keith was working on right there. And this is Keith Sr. with all the new wiring and uh, flex and PVC conduit that were running all through the property. I think it ended up being 5,000 feet of one inch uh, PVC conduit throughout the whole property. So it was a lot of conduit, a lot of wire being ran. This is Brian installing all the new um, 12 by 12 by four junction boxes that we're gonna put on our new switches. So we have our older cameras, which are like two megapixel around the property. And now we're adding eight megapixel cameras throughout the property. So they're gonna be on their own wireless network. And that's what we're building right now is the second network of all the um, 4K cameras throughout the property. So right here, we got one junction box talking to the next junction box so we can use the same power outlet, but also have different networks. And that's what you got Tony doing right here. So we're running that new three quarter inch flex to the second antenna. 
it's gonna be powering all that 4K, 4K content, or all that 4K cameras. how professional just leveling that mount leveling that pipe there make sure it's good <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught what they did right there but they mounted the camera right on top of this corrugated um, siding and then they used some pieces of PVC that it, that they cut put some screws through that to support it to be level uh, to get it to the height that they needed it to be. All this stuff is going to go back into this rack. So we're going to take this thing apart, fish all the wires into this new wall mounted rack. So the shelf is going to go away. We're going to have something different on here. So I don't know what wires are what yet, <laughs> but I'm trying to keep them plugged onto what they are to get the shelf apart. So we can mount the thing and then I'll figure out how to put it all back together. Uh, okay. You want to uh, grab a drill, start taking this, take this thing off. Uh, we pre-programmed all the new cameras the other day when we were here. All the existing stuff is still working um, from the previous program, but we did break, or we didn't break the um, <clears throat> ice they had when it snowed the other day. The gutters filled up with ice. The ice broke the gutter. The gutter fell down and then broke one of their access points. So we have to replace that. We still have to program that device. And we're putting up four, no, three more new access points for all the new 4K cameras, all the eight megapixel cameras. But hopefully if we get all this back together and the antennas go up, all the new cameras should come right on. Yeah, so we're installing this new vertical rack it's a 4U vertical rack to hold their NVR and everything. Secure all their cameras, all their switches and stuff. Upgraded all their switches, put in all their switches. Gigabit switches. This is the extender. So this is going to go to that HDMI extender. So just write HDMI on this guy. And this one is probably the switch also. This is also the switch. Both of these will go to the Netgear, but they're going to go to the patch panel first on the Keystones. They'll plug into the Netgear and this is the HDMI extender. So all the old wires just had RJ45s on them. This time we added a patch panel, put them all on the keystones, put the keystones in the patch panel, and then use all the little one foot jumpers to patch those in. Just to make it easier to work on, since we added so many more cables and cameras and antennas to this site.
that. You got the old stuff with the new stuff. The old ingenious antennas. We got our new antennas. This corner's pretty busy here, but they got a lot going on. They got a lot to watch here. They got old two megapixels with the with the AK right above it. camera for the mini storage so we ran the line for that got the line nice and tight <laughs> we put in a can to support the new switch and a new poe injector we're going to put an antenna on this end and a brand new camera on the other end then we're going to make that antenna talk with those antennas that we installed then there's going to be a little party between them they're going to communicate and party there'll be champagne and caviar so this is the final building we had to add one more antenna one more camera at the far end of the building Yeah, in the building we had to um, mount the TV. We had to add a second TV because they have so many cameras now. We had to put a TV on one side of the pillar and TV on the other side of the pillar. Uh, we still have to go back and uh, hook up a second um, extender to finish it. We got like one more day there. Yo, so that's it. That's the end of our Colfax Mini Storage 4K camera update. Um, did a couple repairs. Added about 23 more cameras. We got a couple of Verkata cameras at the front. We got the new enclosure installed. We got the new displays installed. The customer's up and running. Uh, see you guys on the next one later.